going to taste test these specialty coffees. This one is the Honey Blueberry, and this one here is the Neapolitan, which is chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And I have my handy coffee press. I'm gonna go and start off with the blueberry first. I already opened it, I have to confess. Ooh, it smells so good. This has been sitting in the pantry, so my sister sometimes takes it and just smells it. It's one to two tablespoons. I'm just gonna do one for now. It's been more than five minutes, light roast. Nice golden amber color. This is what I want to smell when I wake up in the morning. It smells like blueberry muffins, breakfast. Mmm! It's so good. Very blueberry, but not overwhelmingly blueberry. This reminds me of the blueberry lavender moon tea that we tried that I tried hmm this is so nice so comforting mm. honey blueberry just a little bit sweet but not too much very light when I picked these up I didn't realize that these were both light roast. I'm more of a dark roast person and I never go for a light roast, but this is my new personality now. Blueberry light roast coffee? Maybe. Oh gosh, it's so good. I usually don't like like floral fruity notes in coffee. It just seems, I don't know, perfumey for me, even for tea. Not really, I don't really go for fruity floral. Although the teas that I did try that last video, I do like. I usually go for more of a spicy, rich, deep flavor, but this is really nice. It's so good, it's so good for breakfast. Makes me want a muffin. Well, this one was a success. I think I could finish this in a week. I bet if this came as a medium roast, it would be really good. A dark roast, yeah, probably that would be good too. I'll be on the lookout for another like blueberry flavored coffee. I'm sure there's a lot. But I feel like the darker the roast, the better it will take with cream. So I'm just not gonna try creamer with this. Yeah, it's very light. Like I don't want to add milk or cream to this. I think because it's pretty delicate and light and there's some fruitiness in here, it's very refreshing. And this would be perfect for someone who is more of a tea drinker. So if you like tea, I think this blueberry light roast coffee would be really good for you. If it makes me want muffins, I want scones. Now on to Neapolitan. Whenever people describe a coffee having notes of chocolate, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. But I'm actually excited for the strawberry. On the initial smell, it just smelled like regular coffee, but as I shook it, I could sense more strawberry. Ooh, fruity, okay. I don't get any notes of chocolate or vanilla. I just get fruitiness. I hope it tastes like ice cream. What was it? I tried one last year. It was a chocolate or mint chip coffee. It was like in the ice, it was something, something like that. Mint chip ice cream flavored. Well, it was good. It just tasted like minty coffee, but then it tasted like ice cream once I added creamer. So let's try this. And I don't like to add creamer to light roast. It just seems weird to me, but I, okay, whatever. One tablespoon, is that what it says? Okay, one to two tablespoons, I'll use it. I'll use one. Hmm, maybe. 
maybe I'm getting more chocolate chocolatey notes. These bags are so cute. I want to keep them when I'm done with the coffee. I think I'm starting to create this habit of collecting coffee bags that look really nice and I want to like frame them. I just appreciate it. I appreciate packaging. Now we wait. Okay. Time to press this French. This one is slightly darker after brewing than the blueberry flavored one. Hmm, okay. Maybe I'm sensing chocolate in the scent. Some strawberry. I don't quite get vanilla. Let's try it. I just can't taste it but it just tastes like regular coffee you know how like at Starbucks when they have special specialty holiday drinks and you try to get each flavor but in a way it all kind of tastes the same it just tastes like coffee a teeny bit of strawberry I sense no vanilla like when I tried the honeysuckle moon tea, I instantly got a vanilla without even reading the ingredients. This one here says warm vanilla flavor. My coffee is warm. Is there a vanilla flavor in here? Not that I could tell. Tangy strawberry. Yeah, I get that a little bit. Hint of rich chocolate. Maybe. I think you could say any coffee is chocolatey. I don't really know what that means. It's a nice coffee. It's not bad, it's not offensive, it's not too tangy, not too acidic. It's smooth, which I do like. It's enjoyable. It's okay. It's just not bad, that's what I'm saying. If anything, gives me idea like it's supposed to be somewhat like ice cream. I mean, this is Neapolitan, so I'm gonna think, where's the ice cream, where's the vanilla? It's smooth, but if they just cross this out and just said coffee flavored coffee, then I'd be fine with that. Let me try it with creamer. Sweet cream, my favorite. Okay, just a little bit. this was a medium or dark roast, I would enjoy it more with creamer, but I don't enjoy creamer with light roast coffee. I'm just gonna finish it. I just realized it says seasonal limited edition and underneath it says best by November 2021. It's already February 2022. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> you could find other coffee brands that are also Neapolitan or blueberry flavored. But this was just my review on these two. They caught my eye in Target and they just looked really cute. Look at that pink and blue. It's pretty. But among these two, if you want something, if you wanna go out of your regular coffee routine, coffee flavor, this one is the go-to, a blueberry coffee. Blueberry coffee is so good. That's what I learned today. That's what we all learned today. Blueberry coffee is good. Bye.